In this video, we will look at how we can use the quadratic formula in order to solve equations. This quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, we found by completing the square has the solution x is equal to the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. By committing this formula to memory, we can quickly solve quadratic equations. For example, in this problem, we see it set up exactly like the other equation, where the a is 6, the b is 7, and the c is negative 3. Notice the sign goes with the number on the 3. If x is equal to the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, we simply have to plug these values in to the formula. x is equal to the opposite of b, b is 7, so we have negative 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared, or 7 squared, minus 4a, which we said was 6, c, which we said was negative 3, all over 2a, which we said was 6. We simply have to evaluate this by using the order of operations. We can do the exponents and all the multiplication at the same time without violating order of operations, because it does not get in the way of any higher ordered operations. This gives us x equals negative 7, plus or minus the square root, of 7 squared, which is 49, plus, because we've got two negatives, negative times a negative is a positive, 4 times 6 times 7 is 72. All over 2 times 6, which is 12. Now we can add inside the radical, and x is equal to negative 7, plus or minus the square root of 121 over 12. The square root of 121 is 11, and so we have negative 7 plus or minus 11 over 12. We can consider the two possibilities of the positive and negative to simplify. Negative 7 plus 11 is 4 over 12, Negative 7 minus 11 is negative 18 over 12. Both of those reduce to give our final solutions 1 third and negative 3 halves. Let's try another problem where we use the quadratic formula in order to solve for x. In this problem, we can see that a is 5, b is negative 1, there's always a 1 in front of a variable, and c is 2. If the quadratic formula tells us that x is equal to the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a, then we simply have to plug these values in. The opposite of b, the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, or negative 1 squared, minus 4a, which is 5, c, which is 2, all over 2a, which is 5. We'll simplify the exponents and multiplication first. So we have x is equal to 1, plus or minus the square root of 1, minus 40, all over 10. Doing the subtraction, we get x is equal to 1, plus or minus the square root of negative 39 over 10. We will want to simplify the radical, and the only thing we can simplify on this radical is we can pull the negative out. The square root of a negative is i. For our final answer, x is equal to 1, plus or minus i, times the square root of 39 over 10. By plugging our numbers in for a, b, and c into the quadratic formula, we could solve a problem that would otherwise be quite difficult by completing the square.